Hey everybody, it's Jeff. Welcome to another episode of Stay Rad Wine Blog TV. It's a special day today because this is the first wine that I'm cracking open from the huge, the multiple uh, packages that I received from um, my wine hero, Gary Vaynerchuk. Uh, thank you so much. I sent him some toys and he sent me a buttload of wine. So this is the first of my uh, GV specials that I'm going to be diving into over the next uh, couple of months. This right here, it's kind of an interesting one. This is the DMZ 2008 Shiraz. This is from the uh, Stellenbosch, Bosch, Bosch, Stellenbach, uh, region of South Africa. Um, I'm really excited to dive into this. My, uh, wife, Kara, just made me this really dope, uh, cheese plate right here. So maybe I'll grab some of these things, uh, while I'm going into the wine. But let's just screw this top right off. This is a $15 bottle of wine, on average, depending on where you can find it, $15. Uh, and I'm always loving screw tops. I think they are um, under appreciated in this day and age. Color wise, off the bat, I mean, super dark. Um, one thing I learned uh, within the past year um, is that a lot of wineries, including Ridge, um, when they have a Syrah, which is the same thing as Shiraz, sometimes they'll blend in a little bit of Viognier. It's really popular in the Cote Roti region of um, the Rhone Valley of France. Um, they'll blend a little bit of Viognier in there, and when you get like this super dark color, sometimes there's a little Viognier blended in there, a white varietal, um, but it does actually make the wine a little bit darker. So that's kind of a, a little fun fact for you. Um, but I, I don't know. I don't believe there's a Viognier blended in here, but just something I was thinking about, but really super dark and inky, right? On the nose, it's like a little bit of oak. There's some dark berry in there. Like, uh, uh, there's some plum, actually, uh, and a little bit of, like, blueberry. Smells pretty nice. A little bit of, like, a little bit of, like, pine cone in there also. Kind of a, a, a sweet little nose there. A nice, just, hint of oak in there that's just enough to kind of round things out. And let's get a little, uh, whirl going here. This is explosive. I mean, the um, the oak is definitely present off the bat. Um, there are some dark fruits. There are some plums. There are some uh, um, blackberries. But also there's this great smokiness, like these um, green peppers. There's a little, like, paprika type of spice in there. There's, like, a, a beef jerky component. I mean... Really, this is um, explosive on the mouth and just really um, kind of fun. I mean, this is definitely something that I could see um, pairing with like some some tacos, like some carne asada tacos. Um, I think that would be really great. But I mean, really just like a, a tasty red wine and a really explosive one. And for $15, I mean... If you can find it where you're at, I mean, it's definitely one that I'd want to dive into. I mean, as far as South African wines, this is the first Shiraz I've had from South Africa. Um, they're known for the Pinot Tosh, which is a blend of, I believe, Pinot Noir and Sinso. Sinso? You, you know what I'm saying. Um, which is, you know kind of known for that band-aid uh, type of flavor. But this Shiraz is, is really kind of tasty. And as far as the things that I see on my plate, I think the one that's most intriguing, I'll get to the cheese in a second, but I've got a little bit of like uh, some walnuts here. And I really think that the spice from this Shiraz is going to pair nicely with this walnut right here. Let me get another uh, taste.
just really good. I mean, I'm putting this in that 88 plus, 80, 89. I'll say it's an 89 uh, point wine right now. Let's try with a little bit of this walnut here. I feel like walnuts are underappreciated. I mean, they do bring this real, like, earthiness. I mean, if you're into, like, really, like, old world style wines, which this is not. This is definitely a, a new world explosion. But if you're into, like, those old world wines, I think the, um, the earthiness of, uh, of a walnut, I, I believe, is underappreciated. I think a lot of you guys would really like it. So, I mean, that's what that is bringing. And then... If we go back into the Shiraz, maybe what we can do is with those walnuts, we can kind of trick ourselves into getting more of like a terroir driven type of wine, like a lot more earthiness of it. I mean, it really is inky and dark when we're dealing with the, um, flavors of this Shiraz right here, but I mean, maybe you could trick yourself into thinking that this was from France, but maybe like, um, maybe more of like a, a, a petite Syrah, but, um, this is definitely, this is definitely New World Shiraz. Let me try it with some of this cheese, though. Let's see what's going on here. Kara, what type of cheese is this again? Kara? Asiago basil. Asiago, basil, I think maybe olive oil, right? Yeah. Yeah, let's try this. So, throw this in here. The cheese is great, Kara. It's fantastic. It's effing fantastic, Kara. It's really good. It's almost like you're not even in the room. Oh, there she is. Are you reading? Just check. Hey, just check and go. Love you. Oh, wow. And this is a great pair with that, um, the cheese and the wine together. I think that the, there is like a good acidity to this wine that I think is kind of overpowered by the um, big fruit and the big like beef jerky spice, but the acidity cuts right through that cheese and I mean really is bringing something uh, something special to the table. I mean definitely if you've uh, got this one and you've got some of this Asiago basil um, olive oil thing happening, I think you're going to enjoy it. Um, Good to see you guys. I haven't made a video in about a week or so, so I'm, I'm glad to get back into the saddle on that. I hope you guys are enjoying these GV specials, because I am going to be bringing more and more of these things out. Um, I know what I was going to ask you. I was going to ask you this. Do you like this vlog? I mean, are you really into it? I mean, I guess what I'm asking is... Would you recommend this blog to a friend? Because if that's the case, this is all I would ever ask of you. All I would ever ask. I don't charge. And I have no right to even ask you to ever pay for something like this. And I never will. But, you know what would be awesome? Is if maybe you could share the love. Just tell a friend that you saw this show. And you thought it was neat. Just tell them maybe, just for once, check it out. StayRadWineBlog.com. Check it out. Maybe go to my uh, Facebook page, which is, uh, the link is to the uh, right side. The right side. The, the right side of this page. And definitely, you know, yeah, give me a little love. Tell, tell some people about it. I love you guys. Everybody. Stay rad.